r slash isrited, what went wrong with your last partner? She sucked someone else's dick. So did you suck someone else's dick as revenge? Caring is sharing. Same haha. In our bed. While I was out working. I stumbled across pictures of it one day. Five years of my life down the drain. But did she suck 37 of them? In row. Like before you were together or during the relationship. I read partner as printer and thought don't even get me started. As for the last partner, the final straw was during sexy time he started talking about bestiality. Printers are awful but I hope you can feel comforted by the fact that a printer will never try and talk to you about that. Jeez, that'll do it. OMG, I don't know what it is with printers, I've lived with so many and they never can fucking perform or stay loyal. She went back with her ex, but forgot to break up with me. Hey let's not kink shame. Maybe he never found the right dog in you. I'll see myself out. He cheated on me for all six years we were together then accused me of cheating on him even though I wasn't allowed to leave the house. I'm also pretty sure he slept with my sister-in-law when my brother and I went to pick up dinner. People that constantly accuse their partner of stuff are usually just projecting their guilt on their partners. They do it, so they think everyone does. You're a good egg. She cheated on me after five years total together, the last one of which was engaged. Cheated on me for months, all while I'm planning the wedding, working part-time and going to graduate school so I can support us comfortably in the future. I planned on giving her everything I could and sharing the rest of my life with her, and apparently she didn't care. Sorry to hear bro. That's some evil sociopathic shit. Glad you found out who she really was before you married her. He wanted to move to Alaska to be with some girl he was friends with before me. Damn, that's gold. Can't blame him for choosing Alaska at the very least. Didn't John Green write a book about this? He met the love of his life a week after we married. She it, I can relate to this one in a way. She broke up with me but still talked because I used to work alongside her, but she kept giving me hope. I really loved her and what we had but was confused as to what. She, however, had gone back to him. We lost bro. Uh um WTF. She popped and could no longer be inflated. They sell duct tape at Walmart. It can resolve this issue. I communicated how I felt about many things in the relationship. He never communicated about anything. Something happened with my girl for some reason. He was and still is no father to his kids, has anger issues and probably other mental health issues. I tried for years to help him and help the relationship but he wasn't having it. After seeing how my oldest suffered under him I had to leave. Distance. Age gap. No real common interests. But mostly he hated King of the Hill. That boy ain't right. That's my purse. The audacity. You make it sound like it could be an honest mistake. Hopefully you gave him the pocket sand. You deserve better. You at least deserve someone who sells propane and propane accessories. Nothing, I was just an asshole. I'm lost in my own trauma and mental illness and he deserves better than anything I have to offer right now. I've been on the receiving end of this, and mildly said, it absolutely ruined me. Her trauma and mental problems were bad, but I still wanted to be with them. So if you ask me, as long as they can give you the space and support you need, and want to be with you, let them make the decision. My ex's early onset Alzheimer's and the resulting violence, paranoia, irrational thinking. I'm so sorry. I caught her cheating with Jeff. Then when I gave her a second chance, I know, she kept texting Jeff. We just broke up last weekend after being together for 13 years. We fell out of love, and our personalities had grown apart. She was a hard person. Clinical and objective. I'm softer and more emotional. We also suffered from extremely bad communication, and on top of that, our sex life deteriorated over the years. We're still young and deserve to be happy. Just not together I guess. She was a fucking nut. Job took me overseas. She didn't want to come with or try long distance so that was that. So you bolted. He died. Sorry for your loss. Nothing. She has never existed. Can relate. She couldn't resist going back to fucking fat gross old men for money, because it worked out so well for her in the past. Vegas, baby. Are you kidding me? I'm not even that fat. He was an alcoholic. Had to fly out or state for a DUI probation hearing and never came back. 
they pushed my boundaries for the final time. Like they asked to play a game of soccer for 175 minutes instead of 90. If you don't mind me asking, how long had y'all been together? Way too much to mention, but mainly negativity. I met her and mistakenly passed over some big red flags because I wanted her to be the one. But my gut don't lie. I had too much hot sauce today with lunch and my gut is not lying at all right now. Terrible, miserable person. Constantly threatened to end their own life and I felt like I couldn't leave because I, incorrectly, felt like I'd be responsible for it if I left and they went through with it. Six years later and they're still alive, go figure. She hated that I had a healthy relationship with my family. And was trying to find ways to sabotage it. Similar aspect in mind, she hated my sister and mother because she had a bad relationship with her sister and mother. Would get mad at me whenever I brought my family up. She insisted on banging every dude she saw at a red lobster. He wasn't over his ex. Still isn't. No matter what we did together, how much time he spent glued to my hip, how many new restaurants and cities and countries we've been to he would always find a way to link the experience back to her. After 1.5 years together we're breaking up on Sunday, he doesn't know it yet. Wish me luck. We were both extra mentally ill at the time. She needed space, I needed quality time and cuddling. It was just time for us to break up. We both worked on our issues and became friends again later. We were always better friends than when we were dating. He let his ego cloud his mind. Everything I tried went in one ear and out the other. Couldn't understand that his actions have lasting consequences, and wouldn't apologize. She asked for an open relationship. After cheating on me in front of my eyes. We got to a point where we either had to get more serious or had to end and he wasn't ready to get more serious. Still sad but getting through it. They cheated multiple times and then would try to guilt trip me for their unfaithfulness. Same here. It sucks but I was done circling the airport and never landing the plane. How long did the not serious enough phase last? <laughs>